Montana has one of the world's most extensive collections of dinosaur fossils. And because of that, it's a rich resource for study. In Bozeman, you can see the ancient fossils up close and learn all about them. Kevin Mackey has our Montana moment. At Museum of the Rockies, you will meet the extraordinary animals that roamed Montana millions of years ago. Visitors come here from all over the world. My name is Claudia Leon. I'm 25 years old, and I come from Lima, Peru. Every time I come here, it's like really cool. In the Hall of Horns and Teeth at the Siebel Dinosaur Complex, kids plan their dreams. I came here today um, to discover dinosaur bones. When I go up, I want to discover dinosaur bones. It's the same dream Dr. John Scanella had as a kid in New York watching Montana dinosaur expeditions on TV. And now I'm the curator of paleontology here at uh, Museum of the Rockies, which really is a, a dream come true. He spends summers in the field excavating dinosaurs in Montana and spends the rest of the year studying them. The Hall of Horns and Teeth represents the end of the age of dinosaurs. Time period between about 68 to 66 million years ago. The fossils are found under rocks that were deposited during the dinosaur's time. Such rocks are easier to find in Montana's open country. Those rocks aren't covered up by buildings and parking lots as they might be in other parts of the country. So Montana, you, you have the right age rocks at the surface and they're right there. We wouldn't recognize the Montana the dinosaurs lived in. It would probably look something like uh, uh, Mississippi looks today, sort of uh, uh, kind of a floodplain environment. Walk into the exhibit and the first thing you see is the Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton discovered in northeastern Montana near Jordan. And it's one of the few actual mounted fossil T-Rex skeletons in the country. Some of the T-Rex bones have been reconstructed for the exhibit, including the skull. So on the mounted skeleton, there's a cast of the skull because the actual thing is too heavy to mount, and so the actual skull is here behind it. The T-Rex was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs that existed. Into the neighborhood of about 40 feet in length. So the one behind me is one of the larger known T-Rex specimens. Uh, and uh, was he ferocious? The teeth of T-Rex are uh, constructed to be able to crush through bone. In the museum's growth series, there are T-Rex specimens ranging from the smaller skulls of babies to the huge skulls of adults. Because so many T-Rex specimens have been found in Montana, it's a great place to learn about how this dinosaur changed as it grew. This a is Chomper, Chomper, which is one of the smallest skulls of Tyrannosaurus rex ever discovered. Jane was found near Ecolac. Evidence, Evidence of 66 of million year old soft tissue was found in the bones of B-Rex. And then also a layer of bone called medullary bone uh, was found, which today is only found in birds when they're in the process of laying eggs, which reveals for the first time that this Tyrannosaurus rex was a female Tyrannosaurus rex. The Triceratops was a plant-eating dinosaur that lived alongside the T-Rex. This is Mort, the first Triceratops to arrive at the museum. Since Mort was collected, over a hundred additional Triceratops have been discovered and collected by Museum of the Rockies, and the museum now has the largest collection of Triceratops in the world. The collection also includes Triceratops from different age groups. So if we look closely at the skulls here, you can see that the horns above the eyes actually go from curving backwards when Triceratops is little to curving forwards uh, when it gets bigger, like this specimen here. Dr. Scanella says the dinosaurs may have used their horns to visually communicate with each other. Behind me are the skeletons of a juvenile Triceratops and a much larger but yet still not fully grown uh, triceratops. And so you can see again some of the differences between different growth stages. Behind me is Big Mike, a bronze replica of the Wankel T-Rex, one of the most complete T-Rex skeletons ever found. The actual fossils of Big Mike are on display at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. Big Mike's teaching the world about his life as a dinosaur 60 million plus years ago in a land we now know as Montana. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.